Hello, I'm Tom Cook. I'm an emergency physician with Prisma Health in the University of South Carolina, and this is a short video on how to use TAPC for right ventricular uh, evaluation. So the evaluation of the right ventricle is a, a very common need for emergency physicians and other uh, physicians who practice at the bedside. And it can be a, a very useful tool for quantitatively evaluating the ability of the right ventricle to pump. Uh, to do that, we're gonna go ahead and get a apical four chamber view so here we have an apical four chamber view, and we're gonna focus obviously on the right side of the heart, in particular the tricuspid valve, which is located here. And what we'd like to do is focus on the annulus of the tricuspid valve, which is that fiber structure that holds the leaflets into place. And we wanna see how much that annulus, which is located here, moves during the cardiac cycle. Uh, as, the, as the right ventricle contracts, it should move towards apex, and as it relaxes, obviously it moves away. Once we have a good apical four chamber view, and we can see the annulus, we're gonna go ahead and go into M mode, and we're going to place, place the tracer line through the lateral annulus of the tricuspid valve. And we're looking for that waveform where we see it goes up and down. And we can see that pretty easily right here. There's some noise above that from the free wall of the right ventricle, but we can see very clearly right here the movement of the tricuspid valve as you go through the cardiac cycle. Once we achieve this, we're going to use our uh, measurement tool and we're going to select TAPSI. And as we touch the screen, we get our initial parallel line. We're going to put that into the trough of that waveform. We'll take our other line and we're going to go ahead and put that at the peak of that waveform. And you can see that his uh, TAPSI measurement is 17 millimeters, which happens to be the normal value for an adult male. So in summary, TAPSI is a very quick way to quantitatively evaluate right ventricular function. It can be used in numerous situations at the bedside.